Hey folks, Mr. McStash and McStash Garage. Um, today we are going to be talking about Moto Horn. There doesn't seem to be a lot of these out there. Um, I went looking them up and there was a few Moto Horns, but most of them was the uh, Moto Horn Point 2 that had the wire that goes up here. Well, I'm on an Ultra. If you look up here, that's not going to work if you put the horn here. It's going to blow back at you something fierce. So, let's figure that out. Oh, you didn't know? Today's video brought to you by Fireside Chat there. Let me, let me get this around here. Fireside Chat. The reason they're bringing you this video is because nobody knows more about making noise than the Fireside Chat boys. So, in with the install here. So, it comes with, I don't see it now. Here it is. It comes with this clear, uh, airline to go from your air compressor to your horn i did what i'm going to do with the horn I, I i'm i decided the best place to mount it would be down below i don't have a vent here it has a cutout scoop so the horn goes through there like that just so perfect i wanted it down below the original horn because i am keeping the original horn so instead of mounting my compressor there i am mounting my compressor up here in the hole. I'll show you more about that later. Um, instead of using their clear plastic hose, I'm using 5 16th fuel line. Same inner diameter, only a lot thicker piece, so going through the heat of the engine here will be fine. Which Plus I have a longer piece, which I'm going to be able to tuck up in here, come down, and attach to my horn behind here. Then my manual horn, or my main horn, my original horn, the wires will come down here. Now, um, why did I choose Moto Horn? Because somebody I know got one, installed it, and loved it. The other reason I use Moto Horn is because I do like the air horns on there. And this was on a selling wall local to me for 20 bucks. So, being that I'm frugal, wallet wise, price conscious. I'm cheap, okay, because I'm cheap. Um, I went to do a test where I found this for 20 bucks. I was on it. So what I did was I got me a piece of inch and a half by inch and a half aluminum and modified it so that it will mount, it will hook in here. I'll take this bolt out. I took this bolt out, got this one just a hair longer, drilled my hole between my, you can see it used to be angle. Cut me some angle here. Cut the angle to be flat there. Kind of made my own little design there. I'm, I'm not going to give you much more than that. Um, other than it's a piece of inch and a half by inch and a half. Touched up the paint because I didn't like the paint. It was a little bit dull. Mounted it on my original horn. My original horn's in here. So what I'm going to do is wire in my original horn. I have, and I run... On my funeral escorts, I run a separate uh, button for my air horn versus my regular horn, electronic air horn versus my regular horn. So I'm used to having the extra button there. So that is nothing but a thing for me. So my regular horn or my, my stock horn is plugged back in. Um, we're going to bring this line down to the clean the jugs here and then plug it into the air horn under here 
You probably can't see that. I'm not going to get real detailed with it. I will possibly throw in some pictures. I will throw a uh, zip tie here. Hold everything in between the jugs to keep it tight. So there's that. That my fuel line is nice and hidden in here. That doesn't look horrendous. You can see that's up nice and hidden in there. And then what I'll do is bring you up here and show you. I have uh, my thing here. I'll cut off my horn and put it there. Or cut off my airline and put it there. And then my compressor is mounted here. Run off a fuse. Five pin relay. I'm not going to get into all that because there are plenty of videos for that. What I did want to set up is how I did my horn. Uh, there, like I said, there's not a lot of stuff on that. So what I will do is temporarily hook up my airline. So when I key on the bike, I have my horn and I have my air horn. So this, like I said, the hose will get cut off, tucked down in there, and I will be able to run either horn I want or both <laughs> what's it all mean here's what it means on this bike we have a police style air air horn electronic air horn on this one we have the moto horn 1.0 which is the same as 2.0 just without the rack and we have a stock horn on both of them this one needs wiring problems so I'm not going to start with it but what we're going to do, we're going to turn them on here, both on the accessory. And we're going to give you stock Harley horn. That is your stock Harley horn. All right. We give you the moto horn. That is the moto horn. This is what you would hear on a police car, the electronic air horn. So, there you go. That's your Harley horn, air horn. <laughs> so, there you go, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out my Patreon page. There's a little, as a dollar a day, you can help the local veterans. All that, uh, top off that, that, half off the top goes to the local vets um, the other half pays fees and goes to making bigger giveaways as you know we have lots of giveaways here on the mixed dash channel if you don't know hang around you'll find out um thanks again fireside chat guys for sponsoring us um because like i said nobody knows more about making noise than them guys <laughs> all right folks love on your family check on your buddy when you get back out there keep it rubber side down We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.